Hello and welcome back to BAPCH IGNO, your trusted study partner. Do subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon so that you immediately get informed whenever we drop a new video. Also, please like and share our videos. Today's subject is BPCC 101 and Unit 3 which is Perception, Meaning, Laws, Perceptual Constancies and Factors Affecting Perception. In this chapter, we will learn about perception, the stages of perception, the theoretical approaches to perception, sensation and the process of sensation. Alright, let us begin this uh, chapter with a story. So, a little boy was drawing about the adventures of the jungle and he made his first drawing extremely happy and he ran off to show it to the adults. And when he showed it to them, he asked him, are you scared? Does this frighten you? Everyone had the same response. Why would this frighten me? Why will I get scared by a hat? It does look like a hat. Nee? But the kid knew what he drew. And this time he made another drawing making it more expressive and this was the result. So, what he actually drew was a boa constrictor which is a kind of snake digesting an elephant. Shocking, isn't it? So, what the story essentially tells us is ki everyone, all of us, look at the world differently. We all have our individual ways of interpreting and perceiving stimuli. So, the definition of perception will be, make a note or take a screenshot here. Perception is the way our brain makes sense of and understands the information it receives from our senses. It's how we recognize, interpret and experience the world around us. Understood? Good. Imagine perception as your brain's way of putting together puzzle pieces. Your senses like sight, hearing, touch, taste and smell provide the puzzle pieces that is the sensory information. Your brain then arranges these pieces to form a complete picture or understanding of your surroundings and experiences. For example, when you see a red apple, your eyes provide the visual puzzle pieces and your brain perceives it as a delicious fruit. So, perception is like your brain's superpower that helps you make sense of the world by piecing together the information your senses gather. It's what allows you to recognize people's faces, enjoy the taste of food and understand the meaning of words when you read or hear them. This brings us to the process of perception which happens in three stages. Okay? Perception involves three stages, selection, organization and interpretation. Let's try to understand the stages by using an example of seeing a friend's face in a crowd. Ready? Alright, number one. Selection. Imagine you are in a busy park and you are trying to find your friend. Your eyes are constantly bombarded with visual information from all directions. People, trees, animals, people with animals. Yeah. In this stage, you select the specific information that is relevant to your goal, which is finding your friend's face in the crowd. Your brain focuses on scanning the faces of people. Second, organization. Now, as you, can, as you scan the faces, your brain starts to organize the visual data. It looks for familiar features and patterns. You may recognize your friend's distinct hairstyle, the color of their shirt or some other unique characteristics. Uh, your brain also identifies the spatial arrangement of these features to determine if the face matches your friend's. Okay? Last, interpretation. Once your brain has organized the relevant information, it moves to the interpretation stage. In this stage, you conclude that you have found your friend based on the organized visual cues. Your brain tells you that face with that short hair, beard, white shirt, blazer, friendly smile, that is my friend. This interpretation allows you to confidently approach and greet your friend. Understood? So in simple terms, the process of perception involves selecting the relevant visual information like the faces in the crowd organizing it and interpreting it this process enables you to recognize and find your friend in a busy part just a reminder that if you like our videos please do like and share and comment on it so that the algorithm picks up the fact that you like our videos all right 
next we have theoretical approaches to perception very simple if you understand so pay attention the process of perception has been explained using two approaches bottom up processing and top down processing let's break down the concepts of top down and bottom up in simple terms number 1 top down processing imagine you have a puzzle but you have seen the picture on the puzzle box before with top down processing your brain uses your existing knowledge and expectations to help you solve the puzzle it starts with your brain's top your prior knowledge and works its way down to understand what you see in perception this means that your brain uses what it already knows to make sense of what you're experiencing it's like when you hear a familiar song in the distance and recognize it because you know the tune right now bottom up processing think of a jigsaw puzzle with pieces that are mixed up and you don't know what the final picture should look like with bottom up processing you start by looking at the individual puzzle pieces and together piecing them to figure out the whole picture in perception this means your brain relies on the raw sensory information it receives from your senses like your eyes or ears and builds understanding from there for example when you see a new animal you've never encountered before your brain uses bottom up processing okay imagine that uh this is the animal can anyone recognize it no right like that's because you've never seen it your brain tries to understand like you know what it is with the shape color and size to identify what it might be i've shared this table for quick reference so an easier way to remember this is top down processing starts with what you know and uses that knowledge to understand something so it's like getting an aerial view of the landscape and you know exactly what is where however bottom up processing starts with the raw sensory input and builds understanding from there without relying on prior knowledge it's like you're climbing the rope ladder to get to the top of your tree house to get an aerial view and make sense of things both these approaches are important in how we perceive and make sense of the world around us sometimes we even use a combination of both depending on the situation and as we move on to sensation there is a connection between sensation and perception which we will learn soon tell me what is sensation sensation is the first contact we establish with our physical environment i quite like this sentence from the book because it is the easiest way of explaining things sensation is how our senses detect information from the world around us it's like the first step in experiencing the world the process of sensation involves three key steps reception transduction and interpretation let's break down each step with an example using the sense of hearing right step 1 reception reception is the first step in sensation and involves detecting a stimulus using specialized sensory receptors in the case of hearing the stimulus is sound waves in the environment your ears contain sensory receptors called hair cells in the inner ear these hair cells are sensitive to vibrations caused by sound waves example imagine you are sitting in a quiet room and suddenly someone plays a musical note on a piano nearby the sound waves produced by the piano are the stimuli your ears receive these sound waves and the hair cells in your inner ear detect the vibrations caused by the sound all right step 2 transduction transduction is the process of converting the detected stimulus into electrical signals that can be transmitted to the brain in case of hearing when the hair cells of your inner ear detect the sound vibrations they convert this mechanical energy to electrical signals these electrical signals are then sent as nerve impulses along the auditory nerve which is connected to your brain example after the hair cells in your ear detect the piano's notes vibrations 
they transduce this mechanical energy into electrical signals these electrical signals travel along the auditory nerve towards your brain okay understood uh, just to keep you informed we have talked about neurons and nerve impulses in the last video make sure to check that out i mean it gives you a good and easy explanation on how neurons send and receive impulses it's very detailed you'd like it moving on to step 3 interpretation interpretation is the final step in sensation where the brain processes and makes sense of the electrical signals it receives in the case of hearing your brain's auditory cortex processes the electrical signals to recognize and interpret the sound it allows you to perceive the sound as music speech or any other auditory experience example when the electrical signals from your auditory nerve reaches your brain the auditory cortex processes them in this case it recognizes the pattern of the sound as a specific musical note and your brain interprets it as a part of a song or melody so in a gist sensation involves reception transduction and interpretation to create our conscious sensory experiences but what is the connection with perception so if sensation is gathering raw data then perception is like making sense of the data for example when you touch a hot cup of coffee your skin's sensory receptors detect the heat this is sensation when your brain processes the heat sensation from the coffee cup you perceive it as hot understanding that it might burn you if you touch it for too long that is perception sensation is about detecting the information while perception is about understanding and interpreting that inter information and together they help us navigate and interact with our surroundings all right this brings us to the end of this video see you in part 2 where we discuss the remaining chapter please like share comment and subscribe take care bye